Alrighty, what up? It's Shinkster94, and welcome back to my Redux Tetralogy of the OGRE games, 1 through 4. So, today, we are gonna pick up where we left off after yesterday's set of streams. I did. I so far did Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, and their most up-to-date HD mods that are available to the public right now. And today, I'm gonna pick it up and do Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and then at least start on Resident Evil 4 later today. I really do not expect to finish Resident Evil 4 by the end of today, but I should get some good progress on it. But right now, this stream, it's all about Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. So, yeah, let's talk about that. So, yeah, as I've been saying while I've been spreading it around social media, this is the concluding chapter to the Raccoon City incident, basically. This kind of wraps up the whole... All of the events we've seen so far. And yeah, Raccoon City ceases to exist by the end of this. Yeah, so I'm excited to see it in the latest Seamless HD project version, which is 2.0. An update from their previous 1.4. And uh, what separates this from the last time, from my last Tetralogy stream of this game, is I played the Seamless HD version 1.4 for that tetralogy but i played on the dolphin emulator and played the gamecube version for this one i'm a, i'm going to be playing the source next pc version with the classic rebirth patch and the seamless hd project 2.0 mod so yep it's the latest up to date and it's going to be similar to the last two games i've done so far all right so who do i got here participating right now we got Evan Mueller, hey man, DLJ, Leon Kennedy, good morning and good afternoon, right? Yep, it's morning for me, it's probably noon for others, and it could be evening for some on other parts of the earth, or the middle of the night. Hello, Ace of Skulls, hey Fear Gale, always awesome to see you, One Love Katos, Ra, hello. <laughs> uh, Manu, Carrotman, hey dude, here we are back again, right to business, sure. Wolf Gaming, where's Neville? Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, stars. Yep, you're gonna be hearing that for a little while. <laughs> All right, and Manif, good morning. All right. So yep. Without further ado, I guess I'll go ahead and boot up the game and let's get to it. All right. Uh, booting up. God forbid something happens to my controller or the game crashes or anything. Like so far, both both the last two games I played, I had something go wrong somewhere, but we'll see. Alright, launching the game in three, two, one. Source next once again. Alright. You need to see how clean everything is, just like the last couple. Oh. <laughs> All right, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Oh, yeah, look at that. So once again, you see the Team X mod at the very bottom there. They were the ones that originally did the HD version of the Classic Rebirth for the PC. And then Seamless HD Project uh, came in, collaborated with them a little bit, and they cleaned some stuff up, and this is... As of now, the most definitive way to play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. You could also play the Dolphin version still, and they updated that to version 2.0, so it's almost just as clean. Probably is. Different gameplay mechanics, though, and features. But yeah, I'm playing the PC version. Alright. <laughs> Your favorite Resident Evil game, Mark Michael Fortesk. Awesome. Good to see you, by the way. Alright. So, I'm going to play original mode, heavy mode, because this really isn't a hard game, however you slice it. Oh, and it's giving me costume select right off the bat. Of course, I want to play as canonical as possible, so I'm going to go with the default. Here we go. Alright, original announcer voice. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. Oh, wow. A city controlled by Umbrella. Look at that. 
no one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. Hmm. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. Look, it's super smooth. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. If only. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. My last escape. Just looking a little washed out in that one, but that's okay. All right, let's see this epic intro. What are they? Oh shit! So remember, this is actually taking place before Resident Evil 2. This is when the outbreak was initially occurring. Yep. Huh. I'm sure I saw a spot 12 somewhere. Never. <laughs> Dead. Jeez. Yeah, it's crazy that zombies overpower them when Lone Jill can take them all. It makes no sense. Alright, here we go. Jill's apartment. Not anymore. <laughs> All right. I always try to. Damn it! Didn't work. Sad kill. Why do you keep retracting messages, dude? <laughs> Oh, iconic. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here. Hey, Trey, what's up, man? Open world, Raccoon City. Yeah, it would be interesting, I will admit. Where's the just get away from me line? Oops. Notice this is another instance where the music scene might overtake the voice in some scenes, so I'm gonna lower the BGM by like 50%. See if that helps it. Yeah. Alright, get our first set of handgun ammo, or bullets, here. 
Anya, let's take a look at the inventory for a second. Yep, Jill's profile. Instead of just her, like, promotional art being pasted in there, they actually went and took the original profile and cleaned it up. So, looking great. All right. Alucard. Hey, dude. Morgan Heine. So, so you, I guess you have, like, two accounts or something? You have Alucard and you have Chris Walker, huh? Huh. <laughs> All right. Um, as for files, I'm, I may try to attempt to get the secret Jill file at the end of the game by collecting these in the exact order they need to be collected. But I'm not unprone to making a mistake here, so we'll see. But for now, I am going to attempt, so I'm going to read this one first because it's the first game instructions. Not that I need them, but yeah. You've never played the OG RE3, Trey. Well, you're in for a surprise, depending on how long you stick around. But yeah, I'm serious. I'm One day I'm going to have you play these games. Like, whenever we hang out, like, at some point when we hang out, have our hangouts. Alright. And you'll be playing these versions. These very cleaned up HD quality versions. All right, I got those out of there. That reloading tool, that is like never leaving my inventory. <laughs> I use the hell out of the thing. I love the gunpowders in this game. Rob Robson Calverly, hey again. This game should be played first before two, considering it starts before two and ends. Okay, it doesn't end before two. It ends after two, like by a, by a couple days at least. But you're right, it does start before two, about a day. A good day before, get day and a half maybe even before then. So the problem's not the music necessarily, because now the music seems really low to me, of course, while the regular sound effects are perfect. It's the voice. The voice needed to be upped, but you can't... That's not really an option. Alright, got the warehouse key. I might try something else in a second, because, um... Before I booted the game, there were actually a couple volume slider options in the configuration menu. I might might try it from there to see if I can improve something. We'll see. All right, we got ink ribbons again, and like the last couple games, I will be see I will be saving occasionally just to avoid a po like being set back too far if a crash or a stupid controller thing happens again. So yeah. All right. Grab the, our first set of gunpowders. Um, and yeah, when it comes to gun batters, you basically have two options about, like, what you want to do. Or maybe three, depending if you have variety, but... You either can go for enhanced ammo, where you always... Where you always create the bullets of the specific gun powders every time you get them. Or you can go for just a massive set of grenade rounds. Because if you combine gun powders, especially with gunpowder C, then you can get m multiple types of grenade rounds. Or you could have a variety of both. You can go back and forth. But enhanced bullets come in like mid-game. So if you want to go for that, it's best to do it from the very beginning. So I am going to go the enhanced bullets route. Because I love those and those do upgrade their weapons considerably. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make handgun bullets right off the bat. Yeah, Manu, that's the way you would do it if you were playing the series chronologically. You would play about the first half of this game until Jill gets infected, and then you would go to Resident Evil 2. Alright. Item box looking slick. Alright, there's the knife in there. First Resident Evil game where you don't start with a knife. <laughs> like, in your inventory. Okay. So... I am going to go ahead and save right now because I'm going to try that thing I mentioned earlier. Oh, 
Okay. So the game is going to close. Just for a sec, because I'm going to try something. Oh, oh, that's in the options. There's nothing I can do about that. Never mind. All right. I think I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll live with the turned down music. I mean, it's... It's a great part of the story. Music, soundtracks do make up a great part of the Resident Evil franchise, but I really want to be able to hear the voices, so I'm going to keep it down a little bit. All right. Resident Evil. Michael Portes, in your opinion, enhanced ammo is not really worth it. Okay, so you go for the grenade round playstyle. It's all good. I personally find more use with enhanced ammo, I guess. Alright. Alright, let's get going and go into the city. See that first aid spray there, but I'm not going to bother with it. So once again, even though I'm saving a bunch, I am going for a good rank, so, yeah. run through this area. I don't necessarily need to engage. Whoa! Coming at me really quickly there. Right. Uh. Oh! All right. Damn. Should have went for the quick shot. Wow, how did that? Grab a shotgun. Oh, man, look at that. I might leave these ones here, to be honest. Yeah, Wolf Game and the Samurai Edge looks clean. All the weapon models look super clean in this one. Like, look at that. Cha <laughs> man, someone just got mauled. All right, got the uptown map. All right, we'll get these herbs up here, though, because when you come back here at night, those stairs are destroyed. And you can't come up here, so that's where it's worth getting these ones. And 
saving some ammo, I'll have it. Besides, I think all these enemies despawn once you leave the area anyway. One, the, I mean, like, proceed to downtown. There's Brad again. I'm gonna catch up to you. A new miracle drug that will make you look and feel ten years younger. <laughs> Uh, okay. Why the hell is the music merged with the voice? That is stupid, but okay. We're definitely putting the music back up then. Because that was way too quiet. Oops. Stupid how that works. Clock tower postcard. Some handgun ammo in the draw in the cast register. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Shout out to Evan Saba. The voice is Brad. Us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. I follow Evan Saba on Twitter. He's an awesome individual. And he keeps up with the times. And he live streams. Empty lighter. All right. Now we got the full-on lighter. <laughs> Lots of zombies, but all are avoidable. Best unlock that. Uh, I won't go through there. That's a good question, Rolf Gaming. I may investigate that later. Are they trying to get through. All right, here's where we use the lighter. They always bust through at that point. Luckily, we got an explosive barrel here. Yeah, we got environmental hazards here. Alright. Alright, a couple red herbs. Back here. And we got a file here. Photo A. Policemen are pressing forward. September 27th, so yesterday. So 9-12-39. So, the backgrounds only look so good because of the version of the game that I'm playing. That's kind of the whole emphasis on this live stream series that I've been doing. If you play the actual, like, PlayStation 1 game on native hardware, it would not look this good. Uh, trust me. Alright, got some server, or zombie dogs here. But, not gonna deal with them. Okay, 
We got our first gunpowder B here. Which makes shotgun ammo. Oh, also when it comes to Nemesis, I am gonna try to engage with him every single time because I do want all I do want all of his collectibles to get the alternative weapons and of course the assault rifle at the end of the game. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I don't think I need the lighter again all the way until the graveyard. I'm pretty sure about that. So, that's getting stashed. Um, I am about to come upon the first Nemesis fight, so having health on hand is always good. Definitely need the shotgun and its ammo. It's not a lot, but I can handle it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, what I got in here. Okay, I know I said that I would <laughs> the reloading tool would never leave my inventory, but I just, I remember from many past playthroughs though, how it would always run out of space and yeah. And I don't need it again until we're in the police station. So going against what I said earlier, I am gonna store it for now. And I am gonna save here because it's before a battle, so yeah. Alright, let's go in with that. Alright, revisiting the RPD, the same exact one from Resident Evil 2, even though this is actually occurring first. Alright. Very brutal cutscene here. Seriously, that is so brutal, and Remake does not do it justice whatsoever. Alright, I got our first live selection. Yep, we're gonna fight. Let it play out, though. Why'd you do a roll into a wall, Jill? Shit! Got him in the second phase. <laughs> no, you don't. Ow. <laughs> He's getting mad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Bitch! Stars. Stars. Alright. Yeah, that, that went very smoothly. <laughs> oh, poor Brad, though. Fuck. <laughs> All right, card case. I know all the combinations, but I'm just doing this to save time. Stars card. <laughs> all right, and yeah, the first parts we got eagle parts for the eagle STI Eagle 6.0, based on an actual weapon called the STI Eagle. No grand introduction to the police station since former players have already seen it. So yeah, some sections are guarded off though because zombies haven't broken down the barricades yet. All right, a triple set of herbs right there. Pretty pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and make. Triple herb. More handgun ammo. Police station map. Use the stars card. 0513. Alrighty then. I wish you could discard it afterward. Alright. This is where the game's RNG kicks in. There could have been two enemy configurations here. It is this one, which, this is one I actually like more. Oh! <laughs> Marvin. Marvin's report. So, he's... I guess he's technically not dead. I guess he's unconscious, which sucks, Jill. Why don't you wake his ass up? Fatally wounded. They make it seem like he's dead. So that was a continuity error on Capcom's part. Oh, that's perfect. Fire Mario, it would have still been zombies, they just would have been placed differently. I have a whole video on this, by the way, on my channel somewhere. Like, it's called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Enemy Placements, something like that. And it covers every possible configuration of the RNG when it comes to enemy placement. I have another video as well on item placements with the RNG. Alright, blue gem. Really want to get rid of that stars card, damn it. Alright, that's a drawer lock with a simple lock. Alright, and the code is 0513. And I don't have the room, so I'm gonna have to grab this later. Luckily, there's an item box not far off.
Alright. Running out of ammo. Alright. Die! Alright, store the shotgun. And the car stars card for life! Way up here. Store the parts as well. I don't need that much health on me right now. David's memo. back for the star's key and other items. There we go. Okay. See you when you get back, fire. Going here. This is a skippable area, but there could be something in. Oh, and there's Cerberi. Another RNG. It could be either Cerberi or zombies in here. Sometimes there could be red herbs here, but since they're not here, they're going to be in the second floor of the police station. Now, if you didn't fight Nemesis and you came straight into the police station, this would have been the only way to get the code, because it's actually Jill's card. And it's the same card that was featured in the first Resident Evil game. Look at that. Well, yep. I don't need it. So I won't be taking that. Alright. Now, the shotgun shells that were near Marv Marvin's corpse, they may have not been there. They could have been here instead. See, a lot of RNG right off the bat in the police station. Ooh, another ink ribbon here. Morgan Heine, uh, I think the RNG in this game, it really, it makes it interesting and for replayability purposes and everything. And yeah, I had to do a lot of research to know, like, every instance of RNG. Okay, um, go back in here. Alright, made 17 instead of 15, so now we're able to craft more ammo. Oh, I am gonna store the sapphire for now. save again. Actually, no. I'll save when I come back down, right before the second Nemesis fight. Wolf Gaming, I hope that doesn't happen, but don't put it out there on the internet. <laughs> I gotta try to avoid most of these zombies. Because I don't have the most amount of handgun ammo right now. 
There's a fat one back here. Oh god, I thought there was handgun ammo back here. That might be Resident Evil 2, actually. But... Alright, so there's gonna be red herbs up here. Yep. And that door is sealed too. It's a large portion of the police station inaccessible the way it is right now. Alright, discard that. file here. Facts from Kendo Gun Shop. This goes over the Samurai Edge, one of the most iconic weapons in this franchise. And yeah, so far I have collected things in the right order. Okay, that's weird. It's the lock pick, but for some reason it has the model of an ink ribbon there. You see that? <laughs> Little mistake there. Probably by the team. Or it never had a model and they just placed something there for some reason. Alright, got a bunch of handgun ammo here, so that's good. So Jill, of course, knows who these desks are for because she works here. So, yep, Barry, Wesker. Here's that picture again. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> this is your desk, Jill. You don't have anything to say about it? Rebecca. There's the first aid spray in here, but I don't need that. Past cases. Alright. Another RNG moment here. This could contain either a magnum or a grenade launcher. The grenade launcher. Let's go. Oh. No. Come to anyone. Our platoon is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carlos. Carlos. Him and his Cuban accent, I believe. Or South American, something like that. Could be either or. <laughs> uh oh. Ominous theme. And you heard a glass shatter. can't come in here thank god all right so yeah that jump scare right there is probably my favorite jump scare in the entire franchise right there <laughs> okay so this is another fight obviously i might as well make use of that grenade launcher although i'm going to exploit a uh, a way to get nemesis stuck and make this fight much easier it's like I can never go without that, because it's so fun to do, and of course it makes the fight easier. Um, Alright, let's see here. I'll grab at least one thing, one healing item, that's all I'm gonna need for this fight, I'm pretty sure.
Alright, um, everything else. Yeah, I'll stick with the grenade launcher. I won't bother with a shotgun because I'm not gonna have the. I don't have much ammo for it. Alright. And besides, I'm gonna get him stuck, so I might as well kill him with a handgun at that point. Okay. So, yeah, this is what I'll take. Let's save. Okay. Stars. Get another gunpowder B here. Ow! Oh! How are you still fine, Jill? Needed to make him use it up. Yeah, the first enemy that could dodge you. I should have thought about that. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm about to switch up some regular weaponry for now. Because now that we got the Eagle Parts B... We can make the Eagle 6.0. Look at that. The custom handgun fires faster than the regular handgun, and it has a critical hit rate. So, the, everything about it is better than the regular handgun. So there's no reason to have the regular handgun on hand right now. So, yep, that's going to be my main pistol for a while, until I start getting enhanced ammo. That's the only caveat, is it's not compatible with enhanced ammo. So once I get a bulk amount of enhanced ammo, I will switch back to the regular handgun. But yeah, love that. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? No. And Nemesis is gone. <laughs> Ed's. Oh, man. 
Ed's 23rd or 28th. Ed's 28th. <laughs> It's 28. Hey, Grandmaster. Yeah, when I'm in the middle of the game, it's hard for me to notice when people pop in. <laughs> it may be a variant of the 1911 Wolf Gaming, but I think that specific variant is called the STI Eagle. I'm pretty sure. Alright, time to go into downtown. What the hell? <laughs> that is known as a drain demo. Alright, some handgun bullets here. Sorely needed. And he's holding something. Mercenary's Diary. Yep. Don't use it. Don't write in it very much. It went from September 1st to 15th to 28th. <laughs> Yeah, Grandmaster, I agree with you there. The Western Custom doesn't have much of a use case for me either. I mean, it fires faster. It's really the only benefit with it. <laughs> Look at that fire hose. Alright, another RNG moment here. These three green herbs right here sometimes won't be here, but in, another, in a different area. The blue herbs, on the other hand, are always here. So, yeah, we'll grab him. I think that's all I'm gonna grab, just the two bl two blues. I'll leave the green ones here, because I will come back through this area at some point. Oh. What the? He got mauled. Gunpowder B. You think the scope is attached backwards? Uh... <laughs> you could be right, actually. Huh. Oh, all these Cerberi. Or zombie dogs. I keep doing that. Power cable. Don't even need to deal with them. Alright. Plethora of handgun ammo here. Hey, Aaron Williams. Alright. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got our first RGB herb for this game, anyway. Alrighty then. Oh my gosh. Downtown. 
A lot of key areas here. Alright, about to be introduced to the drain demos. <laughs> Forget you. Oh, I just realized I missed the gunpowder on that body. It's almost easier to deal with them, though, after they despawn. Or respawn, I should say. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you almost had me, but nope. No grub for you. Get a glimpse of Carlos right there, but I'm not gonna follow him. Because the way I need to meet him needs to be in the raccoon press. Some green herbs here. <laughs> so yeah, with the Seamless HD version, you can now very clearly see these banners here. And check out what they say. It's Biohazard 4. So they were teasing the game well before the game came out. But then... You know, the development hell that it went through, and why it came out, why it took like five years for it to come out. Yep, the arcade shops. Come on, give me a critical. Come on. Well, the crit rate. There you go. Headshot. <laughs> I have so much health now. Tends to be the case in these early games. Especially if I collect every health item. Alright, uh... I think I'm good with what I got here. So, we are coming up upon another Nemesis fight. However, I think because of the sequence of events, or the path that I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna be able to get the item that he drops without having to battle him this time. I'm pretty sure about that. If I'm wrong, then I'm gonna have to, like, dodge around him, come back to the item box for some better weapons, but otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty sure he drops the item with what I'm gonna do here. So, here's another separator from the last time I did the Tetralogy for this game. So in that in the previous Tetralogy, I took the path where you still meet Carlos in the Raccoon Press, but a live selection comes, and I chose to jump out the window, which triggers another sequence of events later involving... Carlos and a couple of his team members um, and I for the longest time thought that was the canon route but a few but a few a few details have been revealed to me since then that made me finally realize that I've been doing it wrong all these years so now I'm changing the path this time I'm still meeting him in the press but I'm just gonna hide in the back 
to make sure the right sequence of events comes out. All right. So that being said, I'm just going to go with this that I have on hand. Let's go. All right, I need to grab this crank. Oh, I am still going to save, though. Robson Calverly got an interesting question. What game do I prefer over the other? RE3 Nemesis or Code Veronica X? I prefer Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Way over Code Veronica X. A Code Veronica I like. It's an A-tier A game for me, but Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is an S-tier game. I think the reason why it, Code Veronica is not S for me is because, because it's long and it's hard. <laughs> Hey, fire. How's your shower? <laughs> right, we're gonna go this way. The arcade shops. <laughs> we have some handgun ammo here. Yep. Place the sapphire here. Need to unlock the city hall. There's some shootable lamps here. Signed. Oh, wow, I have it as the start button. Why do I have it? Because those don't work for some reason. No. Why did those not work? Oh well. Yeah, I'd rather have that then if that's going to be the case. There we go. All right. Fire, I got the grenade launcher in the star's office. All right, we're going into the press. Just the main scenario, Ed's 28. Uh, so that's another thing that's separating this tetralogy, this series of tetralogy streams from the last one. I'm not playing the games. Uh, I'm not playing both scenarios of the first two games, and I'm not playing separate rays of four. All right, there's a first aid spray here. Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. I'm glad I saved. I'm going to take a little risk here. So, in order to get Jill's file, I actually... I have to get a file from the restaurant first. I'm glad I remembered that. So, when it comes to bio collecting, game makes you believe... Makes you think... Meeting him in the restaurant would be the cannon path, but see, the reason why I think the press is the cannon path is because of a line that Carlos says later in the game. As long as I don't open that hatch, I don't think I'll trigger him here. So it's this file that I need. Should be right after this. City guide. Yep, I was right. But let's see, there might be some gunpowders in here. 
Nope, there isn't. There would be some, a couple right there, but they're in a different area this time, and I know where. It's, it's in the press. Now I collect this file. Photo B. <laughs> Scoop. Yep. There we go. So, Manu, I just proved to you, no, that wasn't the case. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey. Where where am I? Relax. You're fine. If you say so. But my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. <laughs> Jill. Alpha Team? RPD STARS unit. Who do you represent? STARS? I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Hmm? Oh no. It's him! Alright. So hide in the back. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Photo C. Yep. And then reporter's memo. Two files. Three files in this building alone. Alright, I gotta act fast because some gunpowder's here. Oh, I'm already on the cusp of making enhanced ammo because once once you make 20, that's the last time you have to make regular handgun rounds, I believe. Yep, see what I said? He dropped he dropped the case. It's just a first aid box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Damn. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? <laughs> no time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Right. 
thing is, he's gonna be chasing me like all throughout here. Actually, I need to store some stuff. Okay, I definitely don't need that. That was great. All right, he's got the green gem on him. An emerald. Ventilation shaft up there. Could have been used in an alternate sequence of events. Music is still going. Finally, he doesn't follow you through here. Alright, another RNG. In both cases, zombies spawn here, but their orientation could could be different. All right. Lonsdale Yard. Couple herbs right here. I'll leave them though. Yet another RNG coming up. Either zombies or zombie dogs. Zombies it is. All right. Some shotgun shells here. A <laughs> good amount, too. I'm going to save that barrel, though, for a specific reason. <laughs> Mechanics memo. Alright, this is where the cable goes. Power cable, fuse, mixed oil. Mm. 
You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? Ugh. I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Yeah. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. Sure. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. <laughs> a side pack. Yeah, I just gained some more inventory space. A wrench. Probably take those herbs now. This bit. Alright, finally use the crank. Oh, I never checked it. Rust hex crank. Oh. And this is why we need the wrench. And they'll go so much slower this way. Luckily, they skip it for you. Alright. I played my cards right. Hopefully, about to see someone we like here. Okay, so yeah, we got triple gunpowder A's here. 
They could have not been here and instead been at a place where you find some oil. But, yep, RNG played that way. All right, this, I believe, is... Yep, we get some enhanced demo going here. Good amount, too. Too bad it's not compatible with this handgun. <laughs> yes! Jill. This is what I wanted. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Soaked with machine oil. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out! They know we're here! Hey, calm down! Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Eat this! Ah! <laughs> Relax. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Shouldn't be doing that. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Okay. Couple red herbs right here. I believe this is also RNG. If they weren't here, they would be at the the power plant. Yeah, or the sub the substation as it's called. Ooh, and I I think I'll be able to take them because I have the herbs to combine them with. Yeah. That was a stroke of luck right there. All right, now let's grab what's in here. This puzzle I've never necessarily understood. I just, I would just hit buttons randomly and eventually it would happen. Let's see. Machine oil. Uh oh. Damn. And this is the gas station, so you don't want this happening. Oh god. Love doing that, don't they? <laughs> Fat zombie there. Alright, so those three green herbs that I got a while ago, they would have been here if they weren't in the previous location. 
Alright, I don't have the space to do this, so I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit. No! Oh, jeez. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I might, I might stick with this for just a little longer, maybe get some even, get more enhanced bullets before I switch over full time, but yeah, <laughs> look at all this health. Right, I'll go ahead and save again. Bronze book. Given knowledge. Book of wisdom. Just to show you guys what happens if you don't have that book on hand when you try to take this. Yeah. And since that's electricity, it's conducting it back to the fountain. Tch. Yeah, it shit could run through when you do that. This, this game is the king of RNG. Because here comes another moment. Zombie dogs! Wish it was crows. That would have been the other option. Hold on a second. I gotta think about this for a sec, because I could be triggering some events. I actually am about to be battling Nemesis again, so... Yeah, I gotta stock up. I'll store the oil for now. Actually, you know what? I am gonna switch to the enhanced handgun now. I'll keep those regular bullets in it for now. Grab the shotgun. Mm-hmm. 
Never mind. Decisions, decisions. Okay, the lock pick. I'm trying to remember when I need that again. I honestly, I, I don't think I need it again until I'm coming upon the park with Jill. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The wrench I don't need until I backtrack past. Okay. Grandmaster, this game I do consider one of the shortest mainline games. Actually, you're not wrong about that. And I'm going the wrong way. Alright, another RNG. It could still be Drain Deimos, or it could be swapped to Brain Suckers out here. We got Brain Suckers now. Which act exactly like Drain Deimos, but they can poison you. Got your ass. Where that goes. <coughs> Shit, you're right. I didn't bring any healing items. Oh, I hate the delay. But yeah, I have to go back and grab healing items. I didn't I didn't stash any. No way I'm gonna fight with Nemesis without any healing. Cause as good as I am by battling against him, it's like it's I hardly ever go get by unscathed. should do. take too long. Door skip really helps and saves time. And yeah, I wanted to save that for what's coming up soon. <laughs> Weirdest door in the game. No, I know there wouldn't have been herbs. There would have been a couple red herbs there if I didn't get them at the gas station. But red herbs alone don't do anything. Yeah, we got triple gunpowder B here. If they didn't show up here, they would have showed up where oil was, along with the gunpowder A, if they didn't show up the gas station. 
could we be getting enhanced? No. But we're right on there now. Next time I find Gunpowder B, I'll be able to make enhanced shotgun ammo. That's a good amount of shotgun ammo I have now. Alright, manual mode. Alright, pretty sure I have these memorized. I think one's blue, red, blue, red. Yep. And the other one is red, blue, blue, blue. Yep. Okay. Uh, yes. Alright, here's where the magnum is. Now with the RNG, the magnum and the grenade launcher swap. So, grenade, la grenade launcher get, uh, at the police station, Magnum here at the substation, or it could have been the other way around. Alright. As satisfying as increasing electricity output would be, I gotta head to the emergency exit to trigger an event that I believe canonical. Uh-oh. Yeah, him sniping you from a rooftop. Oh, bull fucking shit. Got him quickly with that. Okay, that wasn't that difficult at all. Alright, M37 Parts A. Don't care much about them, but yeah, I still want to collect everything. Okay, that was fine. That went off really fine. Alright, now grab the main key item here, the fuse. Yeah, that explosive device and the magnum came in clutch for that fight. Yep, Grandmaster, there you go. Already grabbed ammo off him. Yeah, Manu, I agree. Would've been nice to see the Model 629 and RE Engine. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go back to the cable car to see an extra event. And to use the fuse, of course. I have, I have a decent amount of shotgun ammo. I could probably just use the shotgun full time for a little while. I think I'll do that. Oops. 
Store the parts. Um, I'll take the machine oil back. And the wrench. Yep, there we go. Headshot. <laughs> Dang, that zombie pushed me like crazy. Yeah. The Manu, the eagle probably has had its time at this point. Considering I'm using the shotgun for a while now, and when I do switch back to the handgun, I'm definitely using that enhanced ammo. Right, here we go. This is why I wanted to leave the barrel. <laughs> Mihail, do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Huh. Uh, sorry. I feel so useless. Don't. You fought hard and have the wounds to prove it. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. I could not save my men. All right. Use the fuse. There we go. All right, time for the final backtrack quest to get the mixed oil, because the oil I currently have isn't enough. Because yeah, if you check it, it's good for small machines. Can't be used for li large size machinery by itself. So now we're gonna be backtracking all the way back up to uptown. Let's see where we once been in the dead of night. <laughs> that zombie's still kicking. It'll despawn because Nemesis shows up in this area eventually. Out of my way. So 
Sounds like that was Nikolai. He has an assault rifle? I didn't know that. Oh. It's because I'm at a slope that that shot didn't register. All these zombies want her, like, really bad. They were all running at her. Two zombie dogs still out here. Another RNG, so it was possible that crows could have came out of that bus right now while I'm heading in this direction. But it's gonna be the other way, where it, it does happen when I come back the other direction once I get my objective item. Oh yeah, there's those three green herbs right there. Oh, I think I'll, if I have the room, I'll grab them on the way back. All right, now we can get the fire hose here because we needed the wrench for that. Nice. Fire hose. And no longer need the wrench. Alright. <laughs> Brain suckers. Cerberus out here now. Another RNG. It could have been zombies. where we can extinguish the fire. Hey, <laughs> right. Seriously, Aaron. Couple blue herbs here. Not that I really need them. I've not been poisoned once in this tetralogy. And now I just jinx myself, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Surprise, Jill didn't get damaged. I was pretty close there. Alright, got another crank here. This is optional, sort of, but you know me, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to collect everything. Square crank, and this one's not rusted, so this one shall not break. <laughs> Alright, very cold-blooded moment coming up. no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him head. now than it would have if he had transformed. <laughs> Get off the speed, Jill. Not now. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let me explain... Let me tell you guys a story. So, for the longest time, I thought that that one line you heard before Nikolai fired his shots right there, I thought it was Nikolai that was saying it. I thought he was yelling out, wait, in terms of his comrade, like, turning into a zombie. 
But no, I've been wrong all these years. That is actually Murphy, the, mer the dead mercenary, yelling, wait, to Nikolai, don't shoot me, or something like that. And that's more confirmed, of course, with the remake and everything. And it's like, it's because the voice, to me, sounded like it could have been Nikolai all these years. So that's why I've gotten the canon events wrong for a long time. But people spelled it out for me, and yep, this is the way it happens. And plus, it... It shows Nikolai's character way better, so it does make more sense for it to be this way. Alright, I gotta be careful how I collect files here. You actually collect this one first. And then you collect this one. Yes, sir got half of all the files. <laughs> I like this theme. Alright, let's see what the password is today. Safsprin. Hmm. I feel like Adraville is the most common one. And Safsprin and Aquacure are a little rarer. Alright, so <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's glitching out. Alright, so those sets of triple gunpowder A's and B's could have potentially ended up here. On these shelves. Right there and right there. But, alright. So here we go. Get the mixed oil. Oil additive, actually. Now combine it. There you go. Now we got the mixed oil. A full tub. Uh oh. <laughs> and it makes more sense for how he could escape that than a, than a gas explosion. Because I have the shotgun, that's pointless. Okay, the auto aim is actually coming against me now. I'm gonna switch that back. Because it's causing me more issues than it's worth. Double headshot. Another double headshot. <laughs> Broken PC. But yeah, you would think you would have thought he was just devoured. But no, he escaped through that window as they were breaking through, probably. You're going where I need to. Oh wow! No, you don't. If you're quick enough, you can get them off you before they even have a chance to bite you. If it's right after an already bite. But look at that! I'm in caution now, so. I don't know if I want to spend a big herb like that right now, though. All 
Alright, now we're gonna backtrack to the first area. Actually, hold on. I gotta... I'm gonna heal up first with this save room that's closer. Might be a good time to save, too. Honestly, it's been a little while. Alright. <laughs> I have nothing but full healing items, so... Yeah. Trying to remember. Wait, there's a couple herbs I left in the area I'm going to, so I should be fine actually. But I am still gonna save. Okay. Should be good with that. Just for security, I'm gonna put the lockpick back on it. Yeah, walking is slowed a bit when you're in caution. Running, I think it might be a very small amount. That was stupid of me. Another RNG moment could be zombies here. Or crows. It's crows! Got a bunch of grenade rounds here. Be nice if give it to you all at once, like it does with handgun ammo sometimes. Ah. <laughs> headshot and headshot. I think this is another RNG. Could have been zo uh, zombie dogs or zombies. Alright, see, here's the couple herbs I was talking about. I think I'm just gonna make a double green and take it that way, so that'll put me to full health, most likely. There we go. Yeah, double! Right, I'm gonna try to trigger an event here. I don't know what it requires to trigger it. Yeah, that's it. I see the girl running. She dies regardless. Alright. But anyway, I'm gonna make a roundabout or circle or loop because there's another thing I wanna trigger. So many different events in RNG in this game, it's crazy. 
There we go. Because there's gunpowder B in there. Ooh, enhanced ammo. Here we go. Alright, now we'll go in here. It's a good looking bike. Ah. Too bad. She's dead. Oh shit. You know, it's my. It's. Or no. Never mind. <laughs> For a while, it was my head cannon that that girl right there was actually Dario's daughter that he lost. But I think. I think something else clues in that it's actually possibly a corpse that you come across in the clock tower. Not sure. Or if any of those correspond, to be honest. Can I get a triple headshot here? Ah, oh, you bastard! You, you couldn't take the headshot. Yeah, dead Dario. <laughs> Got eaten anyway. You said you'd rather starve to death, so what happened? Alright, yeah, should be Dario's memo. You're doing great so far. Alright, even more gunpowders. But now I have I have set of double A's and B, so I have an opportunity to make grenade rounds if I wanted to here. Which might be the smart idea. I'm gonna make myself some freeze rounds. I've forgotten, like, does it make more rounds if you combine the gunpowder with grenade rounds? Or if you just make the appropriate combination of gunpowder? <laughs> uh... What I'd, you know what? Why don't I save and find out? I feel like I did this experiment in the last Tetralogy stream, actually. But with that one, I had save states, so I could easily reload it. This one, I have to do a whole load game and whatnot. Starting to get lower on the shotgun shell, so maybe now would be a good time to switch back to the handgun. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save right here. Ed, you think the reloading tool makes more rounds? You're very likely right, but I'm gonna. I did the save to find out. So, so if I combine the gunpowder to CC, then combine it with the grenade rounds, it makes 12. Well, that was, that was interesting. It went from 18 to 12, which means it only took six, but it gave me 12 rounds out of it. That's pretty good value right there. Now let's lo reload. Resident Evil. And now let's try the same thing, but with the gunpowder. Makes only 10! Look at that! We discovered it. We just learned something. You get more rounds if you combine it with the grenade rounds. Resident Evil. 
Let me try one more thing. Instead of combining them at first, what if I just combine the gunpowder with grenade rounds each time? You get the same amount of rounds, but you have less left over. Okay, so yeah, the best option is actually combining combined gunpowders with the grenade rounds. Wow. What'd we learn today? Alright, so this is the best case scenario right here. There you go. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, see, one thing that would be a cool experiment to do is to actually stockpile all of the gunpowder in the game, and then at the very end of the game, do different combinations and see what is the best case scenario for everything. That could be a whole video if I wanted to do it. <laughs> okay, but like I said, I'm getting low on shotgun shells, but I mean, it's been mostly regular enemies up until this point. Herb with me because I will be battling Nemesis soon, and I think with what I got, I'll be okay. Could save the time if I do bring the grenade launcher, but you know, he has a tendency to dodge ammunition, so I don't know if I want to use him right now. make it all the way back to the cable car. This is basically mercenaries mode in reverse. <laughs> What is it that you do, Grandmaster? Like, do you make, like, specific videos like that? No. Oh! Damn it. Forgot I left him here. Now, if I didn't battle Nemesis at the substation, he would have showed up right here. And it would have just been a plain battle. I'm, that's something to experiment too, man, who is like, I'm not sure if you can combine triple C with uh, grenade rounds because it would normally create magnum ammo with the reloading tool. Experiments, we gotta, we gotta find this shit out. We gotta chart it out. I'm sure there's actually an existing chart somewhere, probably. gonna set me back a single area but. so I could either pull myself up or drop down 
I'm gonna drop down for this so we could just see the area down there and the seamless <laughs> HD. And get the shed skin of an upcoming foe. <laughs> oh man. Oh, okay. So just experimenting, not doing a video on it necessarily. But yeah, it's a fun thing to do in this game. A triple G herb. Yes. Grenade rounds. Let's just stash those so we don't waste space. there's a way to get him stuck here too but I think it's specific to a, 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 ah this is a bad area to fight him in though because it's so narrow Enhanced ammo. Oh, that would that might have been the enemy. That was good. Alright, I got the other parts. <laughs> what makes you say that the Gravedigger's the worst boss? Honestly, I think the Gulp Worm is worse than Hit.
Yep, it was round five. Alright. <laughs> you don't even have to fight it. You just have to do get these turned on. We're back here. Alright. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Hmm. Alright, get some items. Flame rounds. <laughs> okay. Uh... Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. <laughs> I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. It's looking good. You could battle Nemesis here, but it's pointless. He doesn't drop anything. Jill, get out of the cable car now! Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Oh, this is gonna look so clean. Ooh. You lose. Mikhail. No, the brakes are out. Okay. We are going to use the emergency brake. He jumped out the window. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we made it to the clock tower. One of the worst decisions of the remake, to cut this area out. Alright, there's some herbs out here. But... Not gonna bother with them. No gunpowders here, so they're going to be on the other side of the clock tower. Clock tower key. Winder key. Huh. Alright, time to switch back to the handgun for a little while. Use some of those enhanced bullets. Oh yeah, and let's uh 
make the Western Custom, even though I'm not, don't really plan on using it. <laughs> I hated this part. of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. <laughs> she hated that. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No, I just... Can't handle it. All right, no grenade rounds here, so they're gonna be in a slightly further away room. Okay. here now the worst weapon in the game mine thrower operation instruction nice lots of blue herbs are laying around I don't really need all the herbs out there, so I'm not going to bother. But I do want to see this door. <laughs> Ooh, Lady Dimitrescu. I just need to tune in for a sec. <laughs> Thanks for the consideration. Hey yo, Wolfie's studio. D U D D U Dud, dud, dud. All right, I shall remember that. Oh, it's giving you the combo to the, uh, the combination to the puzzle later. Grandmaster, yes I do. That's why I triggered that event. So it's Udu Udu. Well, we got zombies in here. This is another RNG. It could have been little spiders in here. Alright, time for the enhanced ammo. Here, grenade rounds. Uh, 
art picture postcard. Yep, give your soul to the goddess, put your hands together to pray before her. This doesn't in any way tell you how to do the puzzle easily. Like, it's totally a guessing game. I know there's a formula to it, but this is one puzzle I'd never have and probably will never figure out. Sorry, lady, I will not play other games, no matter how much you recommend them. Basil key. Alright, we got some more gunpowders here. Could make some more freeze rounds, which I probably will, because they are pretty awesome when you have them. Most useless sequence ever. I'm not gonna bother, because I already got what I need in here. Alright, make more freeze rounds. The water, the water sample puzzle, at least I understand how it works, and I could figure it out. But, yeah, the clock, I just can't. Spiders up here. Some red herbs up here. Kendo Gunship Survival Horror, what's up? Okay, so Udu. Udu, Udu. Yeah, Fire Mario. Freeze rounds are definitely the best. Oh.
Ed's either stars or just a, a growl. That's what I was hoping for, but yeah, sometimes it doesn't happen. Chronos chain. Of course, combine it with this to get to the Chronos key. Silver gear. <laughs> Mine thrower rounds, which I'm not going to bother with. I'm not using that thing once. I'm not using it at all. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, I really don't need the lockpick until I get back with Jill, so... Oh, you stars. All right, I'm going to use the cord so I can get another item drop from it. Just another first aid spray box. Which I don't want in my inventory right now. How'd I get here before I did? <laughs> I knew there were grenade rounds here. Here, mercenary's pocketbook. Okay, this is where it you make the connection that this was probably Dario's daughter right here that this mercenary was trying to save. Someone's daughter. <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right. So this is that godforsaken puzzle. <laughs> so yeah. There's no real way to understand like what combination you need. You would have to play this game so many times and actually take the time to memorize what you were doing to have a chance, which I just never did. Maybe I should have with how many times I played this game. More mind throw rounds. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> like how the balls look. All right, so let's just start doing random combinations. See what we get. Oh, 
it's not that. Second try, not bad. Alright, got the gold gear. So yeah, I guess if it starts on 11 o'clock, then you need to do Amber, Obsidian, Crystal. some herb combinations. Oh, the crows aren't out here anymore, so they despawn eventually. That's good to know. that explosive. Hmm. Alright, about to come on to a great battle here, so yeah, grabbing the grenade launcher with freeze rounds, one of the best places to use it. I think that, yeah, it's gonna be all the grenade launcher here. So, I guess I'll just bring the flame rounds for good measure, too. Because they don't really have much of a use case in this game. I think they're really only useful against, uh, one of, against spiders, which there not, aren't, there's not very many in this game. Alright, health items. Bring more than that. I'm definitely going to save here after I do this. Oh, there's the bell. It's like it was delayed. <laughs> That makes sense, that the past goes backward, present, forward, future, okay, that makes sense. Hmm, yeah, I know there has to be a formula too, I just never took the time to find it out. Saved. Down here! 
here! It's finally over. Let's do this. Stars. <laughs> Stars. Jill. Yes, and Carlos trying to come to the rescue. Stars. Yeah, this is definitely the cannon route. <laughs> Stars. They keep came, staying, saying stars when he's not even a stars member. Alright, that's all burnt up. Let's go. You just cream him. Carlos. I wonder why he just walked into the fire. Oh, that just cut him off. October 1st. For whatever reason. Night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. October 1st, so now Resident Evil 2 has already happened. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? That's the line. Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. Why I met him in the press office. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. If I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Alright, time to play as the man. Oh, that profile. Alright. And we got the Merc handgun, or the Sig Pro. All right. I'm not going to deal with all y'all. This would have been another RNG moment. Still spiders in here, but it could have been uh, Drain Demos, actually. Alright. Alright, now 
I see the back side of the clock tower. Going to the Raccoon City po Hospital, which is right near the clock tower. Okay. We're about to come across one of my most <laughs> nefarious enemies there is. A uh, hunter. Hunter Beta, to be exact. Red herbs back here. Director's Diary. So far, so good. Some handgun ammo in here. Tape recorder. And we got the hospital map right here. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. <laughs> All right. Cannon path, I think, is meeting Tyrell in the basement. He actually has voice lines down there. Alright, and then the RNG kicks in. One of these floors will have a splur of zombies, like, right at the door. <laughs> Guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> well, you would think his, you would think his brains would have went everywhere. Guess it wasn't close enough. It just gave him first degree burns. <laughs> But he's got some of the cleanest pants, I'll give him that. Uh, with how bright they are compared to Carlos. Alright, and we got freaking Hunter Gammas here. Not gonna engage with them now. 
biohazard symbol. Medium base. Crap. Part of me wants to say, I think the order it wants you to collect files, actually, is to go to the fourth floor first. Shit. Okay. I saved just before the Nemesis fight, so if I'm wrong... This is so unnecessary, but I want that Jill secret file. Like, I could still... Okay, no, I could still do the business, just don't collect the file. That's right there, yeah. But I gotta remember to come back for it. That's exactly what happens, Manu. That's why Tyrell was pointing his gun at Carlos. <laughs> Alright, this is one of the easiest puzzles ever. go. Well, if I'm gonna come back here, uh, then I probably do want to defeat these things. But not here, because they charge me. to the fourth floor. Still no zombies, so they're gonna show up on the first floor. It's a guarantee now. Alright, Hunter's in here. Zombies are walking. The effect of the tea virus. Yes, that was correct. Okay. Glad I remembered that. Another RNG. It could be zombies in here. Alright. Green herbs could have been in here too if they weren't where Tyrell was, had died. Alright. 325 is the combination. And look at that. Uh, the set of drawers right there that I'm sort of looking at. It's in that corner of the room. They're gonna be. I need to put in the opposite room. It needs to be on the opposite side. Same side of the room, but opposite corner.
Yep. There you go. There you go, Evan. Alright, we got the vaccine. Alright, now to go back to the basement to get the file. And hunters show up here for some reason. Oh, fuck you. Damn, they were relentless. Oh, really? Medical instruction manual. All right. Bit rage dropping a little bit. the first floor where we're gonna get a horde of zombies and I'm not gonna battle nemesis when I come across him so yeah Oh, jeez. Get out of here, only got six seconds. More worms, and another RNG. Could have been worms or zombies. Had enough of you guys. Not gonna bother with you. I'll let Jill battle you. Hey, are you okay? Yes. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No, it's been waiting for you! He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Spring 
looking good for you guys. I've just been noticing some dropped bit rates and frames. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see here. So yeah, we are gonna battle Nemesis again. So I think I'm gonna keep the grenade launcher on me as I do right now. All this health, no, probably not necessary. I think I'm good with just that, honestly. But I might as well save now. It's been a little bit. Hey, Ford Shelby GT. Those spiders are still there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy them with a the flame route. All right, bring it on. Oh, he can still dodge, huh? get the assault rifle for Jill. And that's gonna be in my main for a little while. <laughs> Alright, it's good to keep at least one healing on, on me at all times at this point, so yeah. This is looking good. Ah, oh, I forgot what I said about the spiders. Damn it. Oh, they're not here anyway. So now they despawn, huh? Oh, then I don't regret my decision. Everything despawns eventually, it seems. I believe is the final use of the locker. Yeah, it doesn't let you discard it for whatever reason. The zombies are attacking. Park key. Grandmaster, I will attempt to do that to save some ammunition. All right, yet another RNG event right here, I believe. It could be grenade rounds or mine thrower rounds. All right, let's stash the lockpick once and for all.
I guess it's just a reward, Manu, for completing the game at least once. It's like a new Game Plus exclusive. Alright, RNG here. Could get Worms or Hunter Betas. We got Worms. Good. That's the better choice. <laughs> Go downstairs immediately. Another RNG. Zombies or Hunter Gammas? Zombies. We're getting good choices right now. And one more RNG here. Could be it. Zombie dogs or hunter betas? It's zombie dogs! All good choices. Order for the supervisors. Alright. I got our first set of magnum bullets here. It's a speed loader speed loader, obviously. See the fountain in full, full mode. And then just the straight upward fountain. <laughs> That's probably the way it should be. Sewer water. <laughs> it's moving across there. Alright, we're at the Raccoon City Graveyard. Got the invisible zombie glitch. I still can. I still know how to trigger it. Yeah. 
some red herbs back here. Alfred Cones. Oh, I never checked it to say graveyard key. Oh well. Alright, some more gunpowders here. Could make more freeze rounds. But... I think I'd this, this time around I'm gonna just make more enhanced ammo each. Iron pipe <laughs> becomes a very well known melee weapon in Resident Evil Outbreak. It's at this point that I finally use the lighter again. Attach IMO to your sentence, Grandmaster. Your statement isn't a fact. Actually, I'm not gonna do it yet. Use the iron pipe. Whichever, whichever saves more time, Eds, because you have to go through like three phases of him popping out of the ground before you get to that lamp point. So if I defeat him quicker by just using weapons, I might as well do that. Alright. Supervisor's report. And facts from the headquarters. Yeah. Looks like we only got like what? Four files left. <laughs> the small key attached to a ring. Rare gate key. All right, more grenade rounds. Let's go.
All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. In my own time where I'm not streaming on camera? Yeah. But you'll never know that I'm doing it. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. Where's the theme? How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh. Coyote Minimal. Hello from Another Poland. Unit. Hello. Acid rounds are the absolute fastest way of killing it. You might be right about that. I thought about that for a second. But, oh well. I have what I have. Alright, now I'm gonna save. the assault rifle. Alright, that's not a good spot. Yes, he's getting the electrocution. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they're not sped up in terms of, like, the actual speed of the cutscene. It's just less like less pause between dialogue has been or or there's less pause in between dialogue they cut out some of the space probably for for a better flow i really like it actually <laughs> all 
RNG here. Could have been worms again, but no, they decided to give me some spiders. I bet I don't have the flame rounds on hand. And now the rain has stopped. Headshot with a grenade launcher. Another one. I can't hit the lantern with this weapon, that sucks. Oh, I, oh, I got her! That was awesome. I hear the owls and the crickets. All right, this bit. No. That's what I'm saying. No. All right, for canonicity's sake, we are gonna jump off the bridge. As satisfying as it would be to push him off. Hit. Time job. <laughs> Thanks, Carlos. I am. Listen closely, Jim. They're going to launch a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. At dawn? But but that's only. I know. We don't have much time left. We have to split up and find a way out of here. And hey, watch out for that traitor, Nikolai. Yeah. follow them right through because I need to get files in the right order plus it'd be nice to get the facility I need to get the facility key before I do the water solution puzzle all right RNG what do they give me oh the worst possible enemy they gave me hunters yeah this room can contain four different enemies it could it contain hunters drain demos brain suckers or zombies I know you're gonna jump over me. System disc. They dropped the MO. <laughs> Triple set of herbs right there. Don't really need them right now, anyway. Open the lock. Oh! 
Nikolai? <laughs> Such a villain. This is where we would have ended up had we pushed him off. But we can't go back because the bridge is out. Sometimes it's a very rare occurrence, but sometimes you could get like baby drain demo spawning here. Grandmaster, yes, I am definitely getting the rocket launcher. All right, this file is the next one you're supposed to collect. Manager's diary. Yep. Alright. We should be... We are totally clear at this point. We're gonna get Jill's diary. Alright, the facility key. Yep. Alright, there's no gunpowders here, so they all spawned where the water sample solution is. Or the water sample puzzle. Alright, um... Done with the grenade launcher for... Probably for the rest of the game. Never used the flame rounds, and I never got acid rounds, so... But yeah, well. And when it comes to those... Uh, the last set of gunpowders, the triple set of both A and B, I am going to... I'm going to test if you can combine them with uh, grenade rounds. And if you can, I'll get, yeah, a shit ton of freeze rounds, which would be great. Otherwise, if it doesn't work, I will actually go ahead and make magnum rounds to replenish the... Ma to, and use the magnum for the rest of the game. But, assault rifle's done. Still got plenty of shotgun stuff. And handgun, for that matter. Actually, no. Um, considering I have enough ammo for the rest of the game, use the Western Custom. It's like, what enemies are left? They're all, all bad ones, actually, so never mind. No... Let's let's just keep the grenade launcher. Ah, I gotta disagree with you there, Grandmaster. I think it was a mistake getting rid of the dead factory. Nest 2, they were just on original and copied off of Nest 1. Uh. Yeah, you could glitch and just do it. I realize that, so I'm gonna do that. Uh. <laughs> Not sure if anyone knew that it's a speedrunning tactic. You don't even have to do all that. I just cheesed it. Roast y'all. I was lucky.
Alright, now we do the water solution puzzle. Sample. All right, here's the triple set of gunpowders. No matter what, I'm gonna make a triple C. It says you can combine it with grenade rounds. <laughs> That's so funny. You get 18 freeze rounds when there's only 13 grenade rounds. Yeah, that's awesome. Alrighty then. Alright, so where the facility key goes. What's funny is this key, it, I don't think it's ever... I'm not sure if it's ever used as an actual key. I think it's only for the card that's attached to it. All right, are we ready for this? That's really close.
This is the only place red can be. This is it. Yep. All right. All right, it's fully unlocked. I believe there's only like four different combinations it could be, and if you just memorize them all, then this puzzle wouldn't be trouble. I used to know them, like all. Alright. Sometimes enemies can spawn here, and it can be, like, either hunters or worms. Ah, oh, they're back. I swear to God. Man, they are relentless. Say they're my worst enemy, especially in this game. So grenade launcher's not the best weapon for them, I guess. All right, we're about to go get into the second to last battle with Nemesis. Pretty much the, almost the main final battle with him, like, in his humanoid form. But I also will be making use of the acid vents, so... Probably don't need to stock up too much, but... Let's see. Good to have, like, just a handgun... the handgun on hand. More health than that would be preferred. I'm just gonna load the breeze rounds now, free up a slot. Yeah, that should do with what I got. And maybe another healing item. Three, to be for good measure. Well, I need a heal right now. There we go. And now would be a good time to save again. Oh. 
Come on! Are you kidding me? That was a total ripoff, y'all saw. Yeah, he's too smart. Acid there. Some, sometimes it's just not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Since he's so random without a head, I just might as well unload on him now. It's not worth doing it a fourth time. <laughs> I froze him! And plus, I don't have a lot of time to mess around like that. of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Thank you. 
Grenade rounds, I'm not gonna bother at this point. There we go. Pretty satisfied. Well. Do my best weapons now. Which pretty much is that. Yep. One that you could pick up? I doubt that. Why did I just do that? Ugh. Back headshot. Some herbs right there. Magnum ammo. Convenient. Portable radar receiver. You're still alive. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. We're just gonna negotiate. That's great, except I have no intention of contributing to your oh, retirement sure. fund. I'll miss you. It's time to say goodbye. You can either accept death with dignity or die with regret. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> it just phases out. Jill, what happened? Carlos, Nikolai beat us to the chopper. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. I am not going to give up. Your name. Who could it be? It doesn't matter. 
We should tell him where we are. That's it. We've got to find a way out of here. Now! Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. Yeah, very. Second to last fire file incinerator manual. There's some shotgun shells there, but I'm not taking them because I don't have the shotgun. Alright, and this is the last file. Classified photo file. Now, yep. So what happens is when you get the last file, your first file becomes Jill's diary. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ugh. I'm not gonna fuck up. But... <laughs> There's a Mr. X full form right there. Or just Tyrant. Check in system. Check in battery. Battery. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Where's this sniper rifle you're talking about? <laughs> Kinda looks like one right there, maybe. That might be it, actually. Oh, there's a sniper rifle right there. I see it. He's freaking eating this, like the tyrant, getting his DNA, mutating further. Oh my gosh. One of the greatest final boss battle themes there is.
now. my last tetrol. <laughs> the game just crashed. What did I say? Are you kidding me right now? Well, just like last time, I'm going to exploit something you can do with this. Hopefully it works. it looks like. Just have to do this over again. Game cheats me, I cheat it back. It's only fair. Like only on this version, Michael, can you do it? But it's the options button. And you gotta edit a text file to allow the debug menu to work. Hope it makes it cool. past that point, or is it gonna crash every time right there? 
One way to find out, and to save time if it does happen again, is I'm gonna try do this function. Quick access, save. So I'm gonna save right in this spot. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. One, 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 one. Oh, it gave me the ink ribbon. Okay. Yeah, stupid game. All right. All right, we're gonna exterminate it. Of course. To get the famous line. Unbelievable. Well, what's it gonna do for the ending now that I skipped like all the cutscenes and whatnot? I'm curious about that. D Chill. It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't matter, we just have to be there when it lands. This wouldn't have been the exact dialogue that was said if had it, the game not crashed on me. But you know what, I'm kind of happy because it's more dialogue than what it would have been. All it would have been was he would have been just burning out excited saying, Jill, the chopper's coming in, yes! Alright, that's it. Thanks, you saved us. I couldn't let you die. There is he it, is. Is it you? Are you ready to finish this? I'm ready for a sandwich. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. 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 It's the end. <laughs> You've seen him pretty clearly there, actually, too. Ah, oh, this is amazing every time I see it. Oof. That's it. Umbrella's going down. <laughs> Oof. I always get goosebumps here. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Backless Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually my favorite ending to any Resident Evil game. Ooh, looking really clean there. Neil 3 Nemesis. Yeah, and now we start a very long one next. <laughs> one that alone takes as long as two game, two of the games I played previously.
Kennedy. You had to include Tofu. Catherine Disher. Evan Saba for Brad, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take like an hour, nearly an hour break for this one before I start Resident Evil 4. So I have enough time to actually eat something in between. So Shinji Mikami produced the game but didn't direct. <laughs> Still a bit of credits left. Alright. Oh yeah, it looks real nice. Got a B. It took three and a half hours. A little longer than Resident Evil 2. Hmm. There's a couple of reasons, a couple backtracking parts. <laughs> and setbacks, maybe. Oh yeah, and the first epilogue. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for ya. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it, and, yeah, maybe, like, maybe a little over an hour. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 2.30 for the start, my time, which is an hour and 20, an hour and 17 minutes from now, or so. Alright, so, I will see you guys at the commencement of Resident Evil 4 and the HD Project 1.1.